I'm Tom Glassman. Welcome to Learning How to See. This is where we look at a few images and examine some basic techniques that anyone can use right away to start taking better photographs, regardless of the camera you use or your skill level. If you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing for more tips. Also, liking doesn't hurt either. Hi guys, welcome back. Today's, actually today's in the next episode, uh, for one of a theme, I'm going to call it Words with Pictures. And what it's going to be is a series of amazingly, fantastically mediocre images. Uh, and these happen a lot when there's not a great, fantastic photograph staring at you. But you want to take them, especially if you're on a vacation somewhere, and the other thing that uh, you're going to see in these images are, are signs, words, signs, that sort of thing. And the reason I'm including this is because, A, my background is a creative director and a writer, and I, I happen to like words. But more importantly, they also work as pictures or within pictures, and it's a great way to help you uh, take vacation pictures and say or remind you where you are and also it's a wonderful quirky kind of thing to put in an image so let's take a couple uh, examples and, and see what how they work this first one I'm obviously in New Orleans and it says French Quarter Fest and this is just it was something colorful I moved in tight um, and when I actually shot it, I left a little bit of uh, area around the outside edges because I knew I was going to have to crop it, you know, in the photo editing program later on. But it just became a nice, colorful sign. And uh, since so much was going on there, uh, it just, you know, works in a photo essay or something like that. So that's what this one is. Um... Here, still in New Orleans, and actually all of these are going to be there. And what I want to do, again, this program is talking about how to see, but it's also about how to do composition. So what you have here is this sign that says Pirate's Alley Cafe. Uh, it says the old Absinthe House. Then over here, it's right against the church, and it says Church Quiet Zone. And I've framed that with a sort of typical lantern that's they're ubiquitous in New Orleans and what what I tried to do here is put this sign here uh, next in an old absinthe house next to a church quiet zone you don't see those a lot especially in that kind of proximity also notice that I came down here and I, there's this nice filigree on the iron fence I left the window here I didn't cut off the spokes on the you know, ship's wheel where the sign is. I let it hang down enough uh, so there's enough of a window. I didn't want to move the right side too close in here. It would look cramped. So the, again, the composition images are, in addition to the signs, I made sure the graphic things were there as well and they weren't cramped or, or cut off. So that is another example of signs. This uh, the, the example takeaway I want you to get from this thing is patience. Uh, obviously, it says haunted tour history or haunted history tour. You know, it's a so-so sign. Uh, what you'll notice is in the background, there's a ghost, an inflatable ghost coming out of a window. The lesson about patience is that the, the guy holding this sign kept turning it and walking around. So I had to wait and position myself so when the sign is pointed toward the camera, I would also have it framed with a bit of American flag. I wanted this building up right here with a ghost coming out. Um, and I didn't want to cut off the sign, but I wanted haunted tour and the ghost. And I needed to wait until the sign was looking right at me. And again, the the composition here is is words next to an image and just the sign wouldn't be that big and a ghost coming out of the window is not that big a deal 
but the two together actually make a better photograph. So that's what I want you guys to keep thinking about throughout these images and when you're out on your own. Think how words go with pictures to make a better photograph. Um, here again, New Orleans, I was out in the um, sort of the storyland part of the city park and you have this, they were doing renovations. So they had taken all these classic figures, you know, from the storybook things and had them laying around. And I shot this image of uh, Snow White. Uh, looks like she's sleeping uh, or, or been done in because you have this New Orleans Police Department police line, do not cross. And I think I titled this, uh, Snow White does a big sleep in the big easy. Um, but the idea here is that normally you wouldn't shoot something like this through grills or, or bars. And with this thing here, by itself, it doesn't mean anything. But together with a fairy tale character, it's an odd juxtaposition. So again, the message is look for quirky, close associations. Remember, I always say, Look for patterns, juxtapositions, things together that normally don't go together. And this is an example of that. Here, we're still in New Orleans. I keep saying that. Uh, New Orleans is a party town, and wherever you go, there's it's booze. And, and of course, culture and history and architecture, in case you're listening. But the point is, you. I'm looking for some archetypal color images of New Orleans, and in this case, I just crouched down, lined up all the glasses with the colored straws, all the uh, signs of the drinks in the background, and some of the Mardi Gras, the fleur de -lis, the local Abita beer, and what have you. Even on this side, I had this bit of yellow. I cropped it here. When I say cropped it, again, I'm on a tripod in the camera. And over here, I did this. You don't want too much more in either direction because then the stuff got very boring and uninteresting. What determined the top to bottom? I didn't want to cut this off too much. And you don't need to show the bottom of where the glasses are. This is all the colorful stuff here. But I'm just looking at including the words with the graphic image, more words there. And it just says New Orleans and what have you. So makes a fun picture. This, um, not quite words, uh, but New Orleans is famous for their iron lace, is what they call it, their balconies and wrought iron filigree. I was walking actually early in the morning to Café du Monde for some coffee and beignets, and the it was light, but it was still kind of dark. The street light was on, and there was this sign or, you know, a uh, piece of artwork with a jazz saxophone player. And you couldn't have anything more iconic of New Orleans than, you know, music, saxophone, uh, the wrought iron, iron lace, the balconies, the street light. It's, it's all there in one package and made, again, a nice tableau or image. Normally, you'd think that would ruin it. But later in the day, everyone's hanging their artwork on that fence. So it's kind of interesting to see it so lonesome and all by itself. Again, the takeaway here is I'm looking at components or archetypal images for a city or destination that talk about that city. And they all in, in one grouping. And it, I think it makes a nice image. And just so you know, these are not the world's greatest images. These are not the world's most fantastic graphic images. But I, what I call them are storytelling images. You know, you're on vacation and it just makes a better vacation kind of photo. So that's what these are doing. Um, New Orleans wouldn't be New Orleans without stopping at the House of Blues. And this is just a classic shot of the front of the thing. It says, in Blues We Trust. You have it on the, the welcome carpet there. And uh, actually, when I... This is my second best shot of this. I actually cropped it or trimmed it here. So you don't have this little thing coming down here. But what you have 
it's a storytelling thing. It's an establishing shot. It says New Orleans. It's just a colorful thing. There's a lot of signage on there. Um, again, not a great super graphic image, but in a lot of ways it is. And in that same genre, this is one of the murals by the ticket office. Um, and it's just, it's, it's fun stuff. Again, storytelling images uh, makes fun to look at later on when you're reminiscing. This is an amazingly subpar image, but I, I wanted to include it because I was trying something, it didn't work. But what you have here is Jackson Square with St. Louis Cathedral, and you have this railroad crossing sign and one of the old streetcars. So I kept waiting for all three things to be happening in the same uh, image. Doesn't work. Sometimes it might. So if you're someplace else, uh, who knows? But what I'm looking at, again, three different things working together to make a more interesting image. In this case, it doesn't, but no reason why you shouldn't look for that in the future. Again, you're walking around. Remember, I always say, look down, look up. Uh, this is a great way to remember a trip. Uh, this is on Bourbon Street, and they do the tiles. So when you come to the edge of the sidewalk, you can look down, and it's just another shot to include in your uh, image. I included enough so you didn't cut this off. See the water meter or water cover there, and a bit of the tile. I might have kicked the cigarette butts out of the way and the spilled drinks and, and this sort of thing. But anyway, it's another kind of image to take uh, when you're traveling. License plate, voodoo on the license plate. You're not going to see that everywhere else. In New Orleans, it's, you know, uh, perfectly at home there. Uh, so anyway, it's an idea of keep looking everywhere. Uh, in this case, I included enough of the car uh, to make it look like a car and a license plate. If you're moved in too close, it, it wouldn't mean anything. Here it looks like it's a license plate and it's in context and it's, eh, you know, again, not a great image, but as part of that whole storytelling photo essay, it works. Here again in New Orleans, you have for sale, it's a condominium and it says haunted. Uh, a lot of for sale signs for condominiums say not haunted. Uh, you don't see that in other cities. So here again, I included it in part of my photo essay of my vacation tour in New Orleans. It's another image that, not a great image, but again, it adds to the context photographically with words of where you were. More New Orleans. Uh, Shrunken heads and vampire rubber ducks. You don't see that very often. Uh, it's worth a photo. You know, I, I amused myself. I had fun. And my all-time favorite, uh, this is on the street. My wife actually pointed out to me, and I stopped and looked down. It says, need money for food, clothes, a car, a spaceship, a sailboat, and a dominatrix. Um, you don't see that in a lot of cities. Um, so anyway, it's words, uh, silly signs, what have you. Um, there it is. Another example of looking down, look up, have fun. I believe that's the last one. It is. So anyway, have fun when you're out there. Don't forget to include words and signs and uh, how they work together. And we'll see you next episode for a continuation of this theme. See you. Bye. Since I've started doing this series, I've also started watching a lot of YouTube videos just to get some ideas. And I suddenly realized how really, really important it is for people to like and subscribe. So if you can, please do it. It would really help. Also, if you have ideas, send us comments. Let us know what we should be talking about addressing. It'll show up in the videos. We can also email you some stuff. With that out of the way, Thanks for watching, thanks for your patience, and we'll see you next episode.